Hey. All right, here we go. We're going to get started in five, four, three, two, one. Cole, you are up. Boom. Oh, hey there, and welcome to another edition of This Week at First Press. We have a special guest with us today. As you can see, we'll get into a little bit more of why in a second. Uh, but we just wanted to take a second and let you know that if you're watching this for the first time on Facebook or YouTube, thanks for being here. This is just going to be, uh, well, a little bit of news about our staff member and uh, also about our church. Everybody is like so anxious right now. I said a little news about our staff member. Uh, <clears throat> but I will start by saying there is a lot more information back in the email. You can find it by clicking on the links um, in wherever you are playing this. Um, and also that our church office is closed. Uh, but uh, all of that is kind of secondary to what we want to do right now, and that is to celebrate, and we're celebrating today, 33 years of work at First Press with Karen Goldstein. Yeah! Do, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Karen, that's longer than both of us have been alive. I was negative seven. Don't rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> so Karen, we just have a couple of questions that we uh, wanted to ask you. First of all, who is your all-time favorite First Press staff member? <laughs> wow. Uh, what's my favorite? Well, I mean, the first person that hired me was Bill Hesse. He was very calming when I got interviewed since <laughs> I was running late, I thought, coming to the interview. And he just... <laughs> Okay, slow down as I ran up the pathway. So, boy, that's, I, I, I don't have, I mean, that was the one warming place, you know, for coming to First Press was just, he made me feel very relaxed and I didn't have to worry. I thought, well, if I get the job, great. If I don't, I'll just go back home with my <laughs> <three> little kids. <laughs> But, that, is the, that is the most Karen story ever, that you were in a tizzy running to get to somewhere, and they told you, slow down, <laughs> and it's still happening now. Uh, we have another question for you, and that would be, uh, what is one of your greatest memories of all time here at good old First Press? Well, and this was a funny story. We had, um, there was a church member, his name was Ed Hartzell, and he's since passed, but he was, he came in as the business manager. And his thing was, he always was, always was, was always away on vacation for his birthday. So this one year, we decided we were going to make a video of what we did on Ed's summer vacation. And I brought in my video camera. I brought in my step to do my step aerobics with the youth director in the middle of Fellowship Hall. We filmed it. We had Peg Cloud, who was uh, the bookkeeper. She spread money all over her desk and, and then walked out. And we videotaped. We said, why did Peg leave all this money all over her desk? <laughs> then we played games with the phone, like we weren't going to answer the phone. When he came back, we showed it to him and he loved it. He really laughed. He said, well, we really didn't do all this stuff while you were <laughs> We just did it to be fun. So what you're saying is you uh, shot the first, this week, our first press video of all time. <laughs> well, that is, <laughs> yes, that is very fitting. So Karen, thank you so much for being on this with us. Uh, would you give us the uh, first announcement for this week? I'll tell you about First Porch. Uh, there's four ways to attend a small socially distanced gathering for fellowship. If you want to sign up, you can sign up on the website. You can email Elizabeth Hess, or you can sign up with the weekly announcements. It's a great way to gather. Awesome. Yes. Um, also coming up this week, well, not this week, a little bit like 10 days or something from now. <laughs> Kickoff Sunday is right around the corner, uh, September 13th. We're in September now, and uh, the 13th is coming up quickly. There are all kinds of notes, so I'm going to run through them quickly, and there is a bunch more information in the email. First of all, we're going to be at 9 and 1042, and we're going to be celebrating communion. So in preparation for September 13th, if you would grab some uh, wine or juice, uh, cracker, cookie, bread of some kind, uh, in order to celebrate communion with us, 
Also that day between the nine and 1042 services, there will be a Zoom coffee hour from 10 to 1030, uh, hosted by Sarah Pantazis and potentially Cole. I don't know how much involvement he will have, but he's kind of facilitating and they are making a Zoom coffee hour uh, so we can have some fellowship on kickoff Sunday. Also coming back into service is the passing of the peace. We haven't done that uh, for a while now that we haven't been in person services, but this is a great time to text a fellow congregant uh, to remember that I need to call someone later and wish them well, or in your uh, living situation or whoever you're gathered with, you can pass the peace, obviously verbally that way. There's all kinds of study groups and uh, youth group is kicking off. There's a bridge study that's kicking off. Presbyterian women is meeting. There's a family service project that day. There is all kinds of information packed into this week's email. Please read it extensively and, uh, and get familiar with it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yes. N- uh, that is all still virtual. <laughs> when you say kickoff Sunday, it's like, oh, are we coming back? No, it's still virtual at this point. But that doesn't mean that we aren't uh, excited about the new year that is coming. <laughs> Boom. Okay. You're probably like, where did Karen just go? Uh, we had some technical difficulties. I have to reshoot my little piece right here. Uh, but she had to run off to uh, another meeting. So, Uh, Here we go. We have the special privilege this coming Sunday of having a guest preacher uh, deliver the sermon. Uh, Her name is Erin Rafferty. Uh, She is a Presbyterian pastor, a cultural anthropologist, and research fellow in pastoral care and machine intelligence at the Center for Theological Inquiry. She will be bringing us the sermon this coming Sunday. She is also currently working on a book on the ministry and leadership of people with disabilities in the church. So we are in for a treat with a good sermon this coming Sunday, as they all have been during this time of transition, but uh, we welcome her this coming Sunday. So that is all we have for you today. So, as, as I've said many times already, the email is packed full is of information. Packed full of it would stuff. behoove you, I love using <laughs> that word, by the way, to read the email and yes. uh, get familiar with all that information. Yes. This has been another edition of This Week at First Press. Have a great week. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.